The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at ingrown toenails and their treatment. Now first off, what is an ingrown toenail? Well, very simply, if you look down here at our anatomy board, uh, you can see this nail here. And an ingrown nail is basically a rogue nail that has lost its way. So normally with your nails, as you could appreciate here, they run along uh, a gutter. With an ingrown toenail, for whatever reason, whether because of overcrowding, overlapping, wearing shoes that are too tight, uh, for whatever reason, the nails have, mother nature and your nails have lost their way. So instead of the nail growing out, it starts to bite into the edge of its conduit. And in some cases, one, one radical case I saw, I actually saw a sliver of the nail actually starting to poke out from the other side of the skin. The deviation was that bad. Now, if you look in this example here, um, I'm just gonna enhance it a little bit. Or actually, before I do that, as you can see here, the nail is not flat and growing out the way it's supposed to anymore. It's starting to overshoot its, its normal boundaries and bite into the edge of the ordinary um, carrier skin here. Now, obviously, because of that, it causes pain. Now, as I've enhanced here, when I usually see people with this in clinic, um, what you tend to see is where the nail is, is biting into the, um, the soft tissue, uh, it becomes red and inflamed. And because the nail is literally slicing through the skin slowly, about a millimeter every month, um, bacteria can then f find their way through that, um, that open skin and cause an a inflammatory reaction. Basically, it's a, like a form of a, a small abscess. So the, the symptoms, when it, when, basically when it becomes symptomatic, is uh, you'll get redness, puffiness, swelling, tenderness, and um, if you squeeze it, if you can tolerate squeezing it, you'll actually see a nasty pus or snot coming out of the, um, the edge that's affected. So that's what an ingrown uh, toenail is essentially. Now there's several different homemade remedies that you can do and solve this on your own, assuming it's not a, a really severe case. Typically once it reaches this point here where it's actually a small abscess, uh, you will need to see a physician to get a course of antibiotics. That's the fastest way to get some relief. In addition, you can also do um, warm soaks. That helps to relieve some of the pressure and um, softens the skin, making it easier for, for the nail to pass through. However, if you can catch it before that point, this is uh, one technique that I've uh, discovered here on the internet um, by some unknown author. This person uses a uh, plaster to basically wrap from one side to the other side and pull the two edges of the skin away from the nail. Now I haven't actually tried this method with my own patients, but this second method here is something I've recommended with reasonable success in mild to moderate cases. It's illustrated here by this individual using um, a piece of, uh, I don't know what this is, like a skewer or something that they broke off here to pull or bevel the edge of the nail above the, um, the skin that it was uh, beginning to puncture. What I do in clinic is I don't recommend using a piece of stick like this. This actually looks painful. I don't know how this person could stand that. But what I'll tell people to do is um, each morning after they shower and they dry their toe, just get a small piece of cotton like off of a Q-tip or a cotton ball. You roll it between your fingers. Then what you do is you lift the edge of the affected nail, say like with, uh, what do you call those things, uh, tweezers or with your own nail. And then you push the piece of cotton underneath that, that lip, allowing the nail uh, some breathing room away from the skin so that as it grows for that day, it will, it will stay away from the, the skin and, and not puncture it. Um, for this gambit to work, the individual has to apply the cotton every day for several weeks, I would say anywhere from one to three months. Once the nail has um, grown past Oh, I'm not trying to give you the finger there. Let's use the index. 
Um, once the nail has grown past the edge of the skin, well then you're home free. Uh, you can dispense with, with doing the cotton balls and um, it's basically end of story at that point. However, um, once you have managed to get it to grow past the edge, in future you have to attempt not to cut your nails too close to the edge. Otherwise you'll put yourself at risk of the nail burrowing through again. So uh, one of the things we'll recommend in clinic is instead of using one of those uh, curved tweezers, is to use one that's more straight like uh, what you use for dogs. Uh, for clipping nails and then just cut the nail straight across instead of doing the, the curvature method So those are two methods you could think of now if all else fails and um, Or if you have a really severe case well, then you have to move on to a surgical method and the surgical method most often employed is called a wedge resection the reason for wedge is as you can see here for this unfortunate person what we've done here is basically cut a triangle out of the nail here. I don't know, I, I think you can appreciate that there. It looks like a triangle here. So in other words, it's like a wedge of pizza. You, you're taking a triangle out of the nail. So you're taking the, the advancing piece that was um, biting into the skin and taking a, a, a margin of its neighbor away in really severe cases, um, sometimes we'll send you to a, a surgeon and actually remove the entire nail and um, then use a chemical agent or diathermy or some other method to kill the, the nail base or um, the origin of the nail where it grows from so that the nail never grows back. And um, just as an aside, a lot of the time when surgeons will tell you the nail's never going to grow back, very often a little bit does grow back. <clears throat> this is one of the few surgeries that I do not perform myself. Um, for some reason, I have a hang-up about removing nails. Every time I have watched it or tried try to attempt it myself, I basically start hurling. But I hope you will not hold that against me. So that is um, some methods used for removing ingrown toenails. Um, it's a real nuisance if you have this problem. And uh, one other thing to watch out for besides just um, the problem of cutting nails too short close to their, um, close to the germinal, uh, not the germinal matrix, um, I forget what we call this thing here. Basically the, the base of the nail, where, where it's um, the nail plate. Um, well, one other thing to also remember with toenails is um, don't, not to wear really pointy tight shoes because that's one of the things that we believe uh, promotes the nail jumping over its um, guardrail and running into the skin is constant pressure against against the nails with squeezing for hours a day in shoes. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, how to date we treat ingrown toenails. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you in the loop as I um, upload new videos and discourses. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.